Hi, this is Daniel Kalina from WCI Consulting. And today we're going to talk about a couple of great features uh, within the Web Intelligence tool uh, for business objects. So what we're going to do here first is select a new, create a new report. We're going to select Universe as our source. And we'll choose one of our uh, sample databases, eFashion here. Okay, we'll select a few dimensions here. We'll select a year and month. Let's come down here to store. Select uh, state and city. And then we'll select a measure here. So we'll do sales revenue. And we can also create a query filter here in our filter panel. So we'll come here to product and select lines, just drag it over. Now to select a list of lines that are currently in the database, we can select this drop down and select values from list. So in this case, it just gives us all the options, the list of values of uh, all the values that are in this object. So we will, in this case, uh, choose jackets, just push it over and click OK. Now we'll run our query. Okay, so we're able to create our query here. Uh, it automatically created our table for us. So we see here our year, our month, our state, city, and revenue. So it's just as easy to create a table this way. And the way web intelligence works is these values these will aggregate as you remove certain objects from within uh, this table. So for instance, if we wanted to get rid of this month object here, just right click and select delete. And you'll see it rolled up the values for all the months uh, for you know, all the cities and all the states. We can do the same thing for city. Right click and delete. And it continued to roll up and aggregate the sales uh, revenue uh, value. Other quick thing we can do is add a filter to this table. By doing that, just right click, select filter, add filter. In the top right, we'll select add filter. And in this case, I'm going to see year, and I can choose one of the active uh, values that we have on our database. In this case, I'll choose 2006, push it over, and click OK. And now, as you can see, we only see 2006 data in our table. Now, another thing you can do uh, within Web Intelligence is drill down. So as we know, we have the month object and the city object uh, data available to us. So if we come up here to analysis and select drill, start drill, you'll see inherently we have the ability now to drill in. So if we want to see values for the state of California, we click here on California, it will automatically drill down to all of the cities available in that state. We can do the same thing with year. And now we have all the months for every city in the state. Now if we want to take a snapshot of this uh, to send to a particular user, we can click on this drill down uh, button here and select snapshot. What that will do is it will create a secondary tab here with the data selected that is not drillable. So now we can come back here and continue our analysis. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel.